and this is why it's an honor to have all of you here today. But most importantly, we need to remember, we're doing this for the kids. And we have to make sure that no kid is being left behind. Are we taking your questions now? Oh, Mr. Dickens. Oh, Mr. Dickens. Okay, from campus here, I want to ask that what motivates you in operating the orphanages during hard times? Well, in the very beginning, I thought that I'll be here to give the kids hope. But soon I realized that they are the one who gave me hope instead. So that was my driving force. Thank you so much. Alright, another? Alright, Dan. Uh, hi, I'm Nick Wan from uh, GPS News. What is the greatest achievement that one star of has achieved in his lifetime? Thank you. Right, Nick, what kind of question is that? Isn't this party pretty obvious about it? Come on, you guys can give me better questions, don't you? Alright, you then. Are you only doing this for the upcoming election? You're currently running for a seat in the parliament. Is this what motivated you to do these acts of charity? Well, um, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of question I want. But to answer your question, I started this project five years ago, even way before I joined politics. But more importantly, the election, that's my fight, not the kids. They mean the world to me. Alright, that'll be all for tonight. Thank you, thank you for your questions. Have a great evening. Thank you, everyone. But I'm afraid to be We shall now Way to go, Robin. That created a bigger scene than I thought. I can already imagine tomorrow's headline. Reckless journalist attacks politician. Speak of the devil. Victor Cameron. The most popular candidate for this upcoming election. He's young, smart, pretty good looking actually. A little too perfect for a politician. Here he comes. Hey, Victor. I know. What was that? Ah, never thought you would. Way to go, Robin. Introduce yourself, goddammit. Funny. I'm Robin, by the way. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Robin. And I'm not gonna lie. Your question just now, you really surprised me. Um, thanks. Alright. Um, I've not seen your face here before. Do you happen to be new on your job? Actually, yes. How do you know that? Well, uh, it's always the same faces within the press, isn't it? Speaking of press, I have a media exclusive party next week and I would love to have you there. Cool, I'll check my schedule. I will not be taking no for an answer, so here's the invitation card. See you around, Robin. Hmm, he seems alright. Maybe I'm wrong to have judged him so soon. He did get this orphanage going. Wait, no, 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 what are you thinking? He's a politician. Don't fall for his trick and get your nose out, girl. All of this needs to be recorded. Hello, Ruby. Hi. You're here, huh? So, how's the day? We, oui. it's your first day on the field. How was it? I mean, I remember my first day, I was focused on this. I've heard that story a thousand times already. Such a shame. It is a good story, you know. Anyways. You know what, Robin? I really love your guts. I mean, that's the only reason why I hired you. But, what was that? What was what? Your questions during the press interview. They were good questions. I don't doubt it. But your timing, it was just a little off. Well, it's actually perfect timing because I got this. What's this? So I can't see properly. <laughs> You have an invitation by Victor Cameron. Wow, not bad, Robin. Oh, okay. Hmm. Robin, listen to me. You have to hold your ground. Some of these politicians, you know, as they see, they may seem kind, polite, humble, but that's all on the outside. On the inside, mm, let me tell you, they're all full of shit. Even the youngsters. You're no different, you're all just full of shiny potential! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well, Victor! How are you doing? Very well, very well. 
Like it is it. By the way, your speech just now, oh my god, it was so bad. Ah, so okay. bad. There's no need to compliment so much. We've known yeah. each other for long enough, you know. Oh wait. Robin is one of yours? Yeah, she's working with me, right? Ah, should have known. You have pretty good eye for talent. Ah, uh, it, it's all just luck. Ah, uh, there's only so much luck you can do with okay? Well, you know what? I really gotta go. It's great to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> so, you're saying that politicians are... Politicians, politicians. Ah, uh, yeah, politicians. Robin, you're all full of shit. So, right. Robin, hold your ground. These are the documents we need to write the article I asked you to write. I'm feeling very thirsty, so I'm gonna go grab myself some drinks. Alright. Hey! Are you alright? I'm fine. Wait, your arm. Are you okay? Yeah. 
out there. Say, do you remember me from yesterday? Mm -hmm. You fell down pretty hard. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's good to hear. There was also this lady with you yesterday. Do you mean Auntie Eleanor? Who is she? She's the one who takes care of us. And also, I noticed that there are some scars on your arm. Are you okay? It's nothing. I'm okay. Look, Ellie, I'm a journalist. Do you know what journalists do? We help people. It's like Sean. But in order for me to help you, I would need your help as well. Why do I need help? Because if something wrong was happening, I can help you make it right. But to do that, you just need to trust me. Hey, Sean. Can I trust her? Just say yes. Okay. How can I help you be? I'm only going to take a few pictures of your arm. Is that okay? Abby, it's okay. Good. Are you, As are you I good? say, she is sick. 
Watch for her. Eleanor, let go of her. You know what? It's fine. We will just do with it. Come with me. I'm, I'm so sorry. She's a bit impatient, but you know, thanks for everything. Thanks, ah. Right. <laughs> hey! What was that? You abused them, and now you wouldn't let go of them. You know what's really sick here? You, Eleanor! What's your name? Why does it matter? What's your name? Robin. Well, Robin, I believe I told you this before. Do not put your nose where the dust floor. If you must, be prepared. I mean, I know you said you'll be back, but I didn't know you'd be back this long. So, where did you go? <laughs> you went back to the orphanage? Robin! James, it turns out that Morningstar Orphanage isn't as full of hope as we thought. Robin! The kids, they're being abused by the caretaker. Robin! It's time for the kid! Robin! All I told you to do was the article. Why are you so stubborn? James, I'm not making this up. I saw it with my own eyes. We've got to do something about this. Robin, I don't know what you think you saw or what you did in the orphanage. All I care about is the article. Just get it done. James, are you even listening to me? The children! I hear you. Now do as I say. How can I even write this? Why is James reacting this way? And why did Eleanor tell me to be prepared? <sighs> Ellie, I hope you're all right. Wait, Sean W? Where have I seen this name with Sean? Ava Lewis, Lou Ivy, Sean Williams, and Sean W. Went missing in 2014. That's five years ago. Wait, this article, it's written by James? James, what's the meaning of this? I don't know what you're talking about. You knew about the abuse, didn't you? You knew that something was wrong with the orphanage. Robin, I'll say this one more time. Cut the crap, James. I know you're hiding something. What are you not telling me? Robin, some things are better left untold. For your sake, just, just drop it. Drop it? How can I pretend to not know what has happened? I've been doing all of this. If there's someone out there I know who's willing to write the truth, it's you, James. But I guess I was wrong. You're a coward. Robin Wade. If you really, really want to know about this case, follow me then. Wait, where are we going? Just shut up and follow me. Why are we at the orphanage? 
Just read it. James, as far as I see you here, what brought you? No, James, the main thing is to not break this song. Eleanor, she knows too much. What do you mean, she knows too much? She knows something is wrong in this place. Just make her drop the idea. You think I haven't tried that? You have one job, James. Wait, the both of you have no each other. No, do as I say. Drop the case. What do you mean, drop the case? And what do you mean the both of you have known each other for so long? As I say, that's not the main point. Drop the case and you be safe. Safe? Get to the fucking point! What are the both of you trying to hide from me? I'm not dropping anything or going anywhere until someone tells me. What the hell is going on here? Don't push it, Robin. You'll be marked. And there's no return from all this. Then let me be marked. I'm prepared. Just tell me already. What do you want me to tell? Tell you this. Their footage is set up to traffic jury. Oh, to tell you that. Their bodies are sold to the high speeder. Oh, to tell you that. In foolish attempt at trying to save the kid. I was out of time. them. Scarring them. To make them damage good. That's why you abuse Ellie. The children. You didn't want them to be taken. You cared for them. But is there no other way? What else can I do, Robin? I'm just an only. I can give my life away for the kids. But how does that make a difference? Of course you can. Just let us know what you know, and we can write all about this and expose the whole syndicate. Right, James? You didn't tell her, did you? Ronaldo. Do you know what happened to his wife? She died in an accident. It was no accident. What? James! I was just like you, Robin. When I knew something was wrong with this place, I also wanted justice. Justice for all these kids. That's why I published the article. But after the article was published, me and my wife, Sarah, met in an accident. As you can see, I escaped death. But my wife, I rushed her to the hospital, hoping I could still see her alive, hoping I could still see her again. All I heard the doctor say, she's gone. I thought it was just an accident, Robin. Until I got a call. No, not just a call. It was a warning, a demand. The voice of that call. I could still hear it till this day. I can't let them get my family anymore, Robin. I can't let my family be in danger. 
I'm so sorry, James. Who is behind all this? People. People who have power, Robin. It costs me everything. And I don't want the same thing to happen to you. James, I understand, but we can't just let this be. Really? Really, Robin? Even after knowing like this? This is not a game, Robin. It's about life and death. I promise Ellie will see you. Save the kid, Robin! Just save yourself. That's all that is right now. We can do something about this. We have the power to. We are the fucking press. I'm sorry, Robin. I can't go through this again. James. Robin, are you really willing to risk your life for doing this? Yes. <coughs> then you will hit this. <coughs> this is the list of all the records of all the children that have been taken in me. The last on the list is Ellie. Um, I'm so sorry, Eleanor. I didn't know. It's not your fault, Robin. I have been recording all the activities of the orphanage for years. But there was no one other than James who was willing to take it. Now, I trust you. Do what you can with the list, and this is when you say our goodbye. Wait, Eleanor. Will you be all right? Make it worth Robin. Oh, hey, Robin. Glad you could make it. Have a seat. Thank you. Well, the last time we met, I believe you were working on your article, right? <coughs> so, how's it going? Oh, it's great. I just came across a couple of unexpected issues. Issues? Oh, I'm sure you can get through it. Mm -hmm. I bet I will. I think I pretty much have it all figured out. Ah, interesting. I'm curious. Validate. Well, let's start with your orphanage. Morningstar Orphanage, or rather, a child trafficking syndicate where children get taken under parents with fake information and they are used as slaves. My, my, Robbie. You must be under a lot of pressure, aren't you? To be coming up with stories like this. You know what you should be doing? That article of yours. It wasn't easy. But I was able to gather the records, pictures of the missing children, everything. Cold hard proof is on this table right now. And everything about your orphanage is a scam, Victor. <laughs> Pretty good job, Robin. Pretty good job for a newbie. Kinda reminds me of good old James. So it was you. Robin, I've been doing this for well, quite a while now. Um, even way before I started my orphanage. You know, I always face with people who try to disrupt my business, people like James, but we do know what happened to them, don't we? And yet, you're here, thinking that what? A few pieces of paper is going to scare me? Robin, do you know who am I? I can kill I can kill you right here, right now, and anyone in this room will bet an eye about it. But I like you, Robin. I really do. Kind of charming, actually. You know, if you want career, money, happiness, everything that you desire for, 
I can give that to you, Robin. But wait, that's not it. Ellie. Ellie? Robin, Robin, Robin. Just follow me, and I will give you any. <coughs> this will be a hard decision, should it? Well, Victor, death is probably the worst thing that you could give me now. You are powerful indeed. You think you can control everything, and everything has always worked your way. It excites you, doesn't it? Thinking that it will always win your favor. And what are you trying to say? Everyone, check your phones! Now every media will know what you've been hiding. I told you before, Robbie, no one would bet an eye about it, and I can pay you. Every single media, but you can't pay the people out there. Even you, ladies and gentlemen, check your phone! What? And what do you think you can accomplish with that? I don't know, really, but I can only hope, hope that someone, someone out there, will know about this, and a movement will be No matter how powerful you are, you can never win alone. I see you've made a choice then. 